Okay, I think <clears throat> my pet streams are kind of pixely. I think I fixed it. I downscaled it to 720p, but turned up the bit rate to 6,000. So I think it'll be good. Like, it should be fine. Yep, it's looking good on my... Um, I have my phone up with the stream. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Now it won't be, like, pixely. I mean, it would've been nice to not have pixely stuff during Arthur's death, but... I'm playing as John now, in the epilogue. Um... <clears throat> I have a mission for Mr. Geddes. Just to kind of pick up for viewers, um... John and his family have been on the run, and they basically have been having to move every month, and they're in Strawberry now, and he got a job as a ranch hand at this ranch, and Abigail is, like, working in town. Uh, as, like, a cleaner at the doctor's office, but, um, basically while he's here, this, like, inspires him to get his own ranch, because Abigail gets worried about him and leaves with Jack, and to get her back, he built, like, he buys Beecher's Hope and builds the ranch with Uncle. Milton! Get over here. One of my favorite missions in the game, Mr. Geddes, if not my favorite, is the, is the one where you're building the house. You well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey. <coughs> hey! Get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the morning, wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. <laughs> hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I didn't even, like, shoot at them. Like, I just pulled my Jack, horse in front of their wagon and here. they just Come got scared and ran out. I didn't, like, even hurt anyone. <clears throat> I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was. Uh... I'm a ranch hand. Yeah, I fixed the pix. Like the one. my other streams were really pixely when I moved. When uh, here, I figure out how to switch it, how to make that not happen. I switched the resolution um, to 720p and then turned the bit rate to 6,000. It was like a thousand, like 1,200 before. And I just saw someone online say that that fixes from? it. And it, I'm looking at my phone, and it looks like it's helping. Like, you know, it looks like it's, like, I don't see pixel, it, like, pixel been stuff. Before, Would have been nice to not have it be pixely, um, <laughs> during Arthur's death yesterday, but... Are in yeah. and buying everything, the ranches, but, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. This is, like, I really like this part of the game, like, the epilogue, and when you're playing as John. Are you a like, gunslinger, mister? I love the mission where you build Beecher's Hope Lord, with Uncle no. and Charles. Nothing like that. Like it plays the house building song. Just a ranch hand then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things. And I think that mission's probably about 
half an hour to 45 minutes away of gameplay. The epilogue isn't super long. You do kill Micah at the end of the epilogue, because he was a rat to the Pinkerton. And he, he basically kills Arthur if you have low honor. But if you have high honor like I did, most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprise Bruh, at the end of the epilogue, like, Edgar Ross and his new partner, like, are, like, overlooking Beecher's Hope. Because they find Micah's dead body, and then they track it down to John. Okay. It's like they're watching, like, his wedding from a hill. It's crazy. I mean, Edgar Ross has already been in the game, but he doesn't really talk very much. He does have a few voice lines. But he was, like, in the Pinkerton. But then he moved to the FBI. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Pa yet. Bruh, I don't know why, but Jack always addresses John as Sir. Learn, which is so weird. We all gotta earn our keys. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? <clears throat> sure. Come on, son. Oh, if you can say in the chat if you can, like, if you can hear my voice fine. Because my microphone, like, sometimes, like, it's weird. If the microphone is just a little bit away from my face, like, it's hard to hear. Like it? I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> but if you don't have the chat or something, then it's fine. I mean, I can probably test it myself. I'll, I'll just turn up the volume on my phone. We'll do it. Oh, okay. Yep, it's working. I just listen to it on my phone. It's weird. There's like a like a five second delay from when I'm playing and what goes on to Twitch. It's like a broadcast delay. Okay. So what you're watching right now is what I was doing five seconds ago. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it. Bruh, this mission's just like milking cows and scooping poop. I forgot about this. There's one mission in this where you just build a fence. But there is one where you teach Jack how to ride a horse, and that's a really cool mission. Nothing. Like getting to teach him to ride a horse. Hold on. Like it's also some good like character development for the story too, because like it's kind of been a thing that like John hasn't really been there for him very much. That stinks. It kind of reminds me of, like I think there's a mission in Red Dead One where he teaches him how to hunt. But then he, you have to go and save him from, like, the mountains because he went out by himself. <clears throat> okay, I gotta get the last turd. From gunslinging to shit shoveling. Great. Bruh, you have, like, a nine-year-old kid here. <laughs> I don't think that's the right language to be using. <laughs> Around your nine year old. Would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Oh, there's a really cool mission. It, like, once they leave and he's going to Blackwater to go and get, um, the loan for the ranch, he, like, puts on his outfit from Red Dead 1, and it's, like, a really cool mission. Like, as he walks out of the house and, like, the music hey. is playing. Hey. It's so cool. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want? Same Bruh, I will I never forgive Rockstar for how they no did home. John in the epilogue. Like, uh, no. they just took Arthur's 3D, like, model maybe we can laugh. and slapped John's texture on it. So the facial we structure still looks like... More. Arthur's. The hair and the beard style is the same as Arthur's. Like, well, you know. 
in pre-release screenshots of the epilogue, you can see John has his, like, normal hair from 1899. Like, it would be so easy for them to fix it. There's numerous mods that have done it. Like, and they said it was so easy. Like, it would cost Rockstar nothing. It just pisses me off. It's like, because he would look so much better with his, like, other hair. Like, because it, it actually looks like his hair from the first game. I think they did fix his facial, like, structure a bit. Like, they did make it look a bit more like him. Like, they changed- I think they might have put- they might have just put his character model back. Instead of Arthur's, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I gotta save. Because I always save after every mission. Oh, I can't yet. It's weird. Sometimes you have to wait a few seconds after a mission to save. And I do save at, like, every camp. Like, a new save, so I can go back if I just want to, like, kind of just free roam around this period of the game. So I gotta do that, too. Because, as you can see, I have one for, like, basically every camp. Like, Gwarma, um, Sandini. These are just my finished games, but, like... I think that's, um, this is like when you're around Horseshoe Overlook, and then this is too when you take Jack Fishing. Yeah, because you can see in, um, like, the picture right there, he has his old hair in the picture. That's like, like, they had it at one point, and it's so, like, you can even see it in that one of him on the wagon. Like, it's so annoying. I just gotta save it to here, too, so I can have that slot that's just that mission. Like, like, when you're here. Okay. Which mission should I do next? Let me look at the map. They have Gettys, and then Dickon. Wait, I gotta look real quick. Is that Dickens mission? Is that the fence one? Because that one's actually kind of fun. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll go do that one. I think the Mr. Getty's one, you, that might be the one where you have to go with Jack to the post office, and then you get, like, hunted down by bounty hunters, and you have to kill them in front of him. And he's, like, t he's, like, horrified. Yeah, this is the fence one. I like this mission. I like the, just, see, right, now is how I'm making it sound like I love the missions where you build stuff, fence? like the house and stuff, sure. but they're actually fun. Know much about fence building? Not like really. it's like this like Can't shows like over fence. this mission Can't is like over the course of like a few in-game months I think like it has like a montage. Guess we all got a I mean the build it, the house building one is like a montage, but that's like one month. I told you, wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Right. Give me I, like, I found out that, like, the guy who played John, like, had, like, he came out of acting retirement just to do, like, Red Dead 2. Like, really, like, the only acting work he'll do anymore is, like, for, like, Red Dead. There's plenty more to Like, he do. retired from it. Pound it in there. He has a TikTok. And it, his videos are actually kind of funny. Good. Now grab a and, like, the guy that plays, um, and place it in. Franklin in GTA V and Michael have TikTok. I think the guy who plays Trevor, Stephen Ogg, might have it. Side. I know he has an Instagram. Line up, see? Now the next rail. He he had like posted a video on his YouTube of like okay. him playing GTA 5 with his son and someone just commented, you already know he killed yes, Trevor. He chose to kill Trevor in the end and I just thought that was funny. You doing all right. Yeah, he was on Snowpiercer like I watched the show a few episodes of it a few years ago and I was like Super surprised because well, okay. I didn't know he was going to be in it. Like, I knew he was in Walking man. Dead, but. I, hope you've grasped the basics. I, got other I didn't know that he'd be in Snowpiercer. He got, like, put in, like, a cryogenic chamber in so it. Long. I'll be 
Not like his character, because he was like a yeah. stowaway. Okay. And that show was actually pretty good. I kind of want to like. I think it's it's got to be on some streaming service, probably Hulu. But I kind of want to watch it. Like, the whole concept for the show. I mean, I know it's based on, I think, a book. Um, or maybe the movie, I don't know. But, it's just a really cool concept. Kind of like how, um, The City of Ember is a really cool concept. Like the book. Like they're just living underground. And they don't even realize. That was a weird movie. Bill Murray played, like, the mayor. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. <laughs> Bro, calling him that is just gonna make him more mad. Oh crap! <laughs> oh my god! I'll get him. Can you ride cows on this? Oh! That... Yeah, that's gonna cause some damage. Bro, that's gonna give me road rash, dude. Okay, I guess we're not on the road. Bro, I spent... Yeah, I gotta build that. That's my job. I build fences. Get back here. I did that. I remember doing this so easily when I played this on my computer. Because I just played the epilogue on my computer. Like I, have a, I downloaded an epilogue save game. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. Because of a damn bull. Yo, I think he's gonna give me Red Bull. Because it gives me down. wings. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. There, there. There. It's like how like stork birds will give you Whoa, pickles and there. babies. Whoa, there. Easy, this one gives you easy. Red Bull. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better. Now whatever you do, don't pull out anything <laughs> red. Now, come on, you nah, that's actually a myth. Shut. Bulls are colorblind. <laughs> Let's go. I think it's Mr. something Dickens. that the people oh, do, good. like that you can't really tell. You, doing, you can't really see that they're doing that. Sore, it instead makes okay. them mad. Thank you, Mr. It's not the red my like pleasure. thing is just really for show. You, Mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. We had to watch bullfighting in Spanish Later, class. Jim I mean, it's. Bullfighting is pretty cruel, at least in the ones where they kill the bull. Like, it's, it's, like, I literally, we were watching that, and the bull died. In, like, we just watched it in videos. Like, I was just like, bruh. I think, I think bullfighting is illegal in the U.S. Hey. But it's not in, like, Spain and, like, Mexico. I'll get the coffee home. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a time. She seems a little overdressed to be like oh, a cleaner on. at the doctor's office. But I guess it is like 1907. People were a lot more formal back then in what they wore. Yeah, that's weird. Like, why did like formal clothing go out of style? Like, it was around for like hundreds of years. Like... Like, you know, like, you see pictures of people in, like, the 1400s, like, paintings. And then, like, even up into, like, the 19, you know, 40s and 50s. Like, I'd say, like, formal wear started to kind of die out around the late 50s, early 60s. Maybe even the mid-60s. But, like, it's weird. Like, how it just died out.
But also a lot of the people that could only afford paintings and pictures back then were probably rich people. And if you think rich, like about rich people now, a lot of them like do wear fancy clothing, like suits and stuff. Or like sometimes like polo, like people that uh, rich people that just like hang out at country clubs and stuff. Like they just wear like polo shirts and golf clothing, and that's fancy. So maybe like I'm just that you don't really see like the not as wealthy side of things. Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. <coughs> Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Hmm? Maybe I could have handled it. Of course I swear, this headset, like, I just, just have the left bounce. side over my yeah. ear. Because that's so, the one with the uh, microphone, but then the right side, like, the tucked behind my right town? ear. Because I don't like having headphones on all the way. I don't really like not being able to hear stuff around me. And it, like, hurts the back of my ear. Well, like, if I have it on for a certain amount of time, but since last night I had it on for so long, and it hurt, my ear is, like, just weak today. The back of my ear, so it hurts. It's starting to. You'll be just at the end there. I might have to... I think I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna put it over... I'm gonna put it, like, halfway over my right ear. So it's not tucked behind. So I can still hear. You Duncan? Actually, I'll just put it all the way on. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. Oh, I <laughs> sure think he does. That? Okay, yes, yes I do. Pretty big one. That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Hey. Don't go behind him, cause then he'll kick you. I've, I know that because, um, when you go around horses, what you want to do is you want to, like, put your hand on it when you, like, are, if you're walking behind it and, like, kind of keep your hand on it and, like, move it when you're walking behind so it doesn't get surprised when you're behind it. I think that's how, like, bulls are, too. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. I'm gonna take him out first. Burn some of this heat off of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Since my white Arabian horse that I had as Arthur died in the last mission, because whatever horse you, you use in it dies, which is like, it's a really, like, it's one of my favorite, like, scenes, cutscenes in the game. Like, not because the horse dies, but because Arthur, like, cries in the, as the horse is dying. He's, like, holding its head, like, comforting it, and he just, like, he gives it a kiss on the head and just says, thank you. Like, it's like, and I've had that horse since, like, the beginning of the game. So it was, like, it's, I've had a lot of gameplay with it. So, um, and it's the best horse in the game. I caught it in the wild, so even if, like, you don't, if you have a horse in the stable and you don't use it in that last mission as Arthur, uh, it still doesn't pass over to John. I think the only one that does is there's some guy that, like, Arthur knows that he, like, you will find him dying in the forest and he'll give you his horse. I think that one transfers over. Like, he gives you his horse. But I'm gonna have to go and find a white Arabian later up in the mountains. It's the horse that Dutch had. That's, like, I first saw Dutch having it, and I really liked it. Like, I just thought it looked very cool. Good 
give us no trouble now. Right, stamina is going back up though. I think John literally tells him in this about the trick where you like, when you're going behind it with like, you keep your hand on it. I think that's where I literally learned it. I think I learned it from this. Like, I've actually learned something, like stuff from this game. Heart's beating a little. Stuff that I'll probably never use. Cause I, I don't, I don't think I would ever be working with horses at, in any job that I'm interested in. Real nice. No, I think ranching would be cool, but you know, land is really expensive, one, but and also like you sure there isn't people don't use horses here? to get around stuff like I that. I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah, you think my son could borrow him? Yeah, if land wasn't so expensive, I'd actually yeah. consider like oh, like having a ranch someday. It sounds like a cool All job. Right. Thank you, son. I just like the idea of like living in the countryside and stuff, like away from. Big cities. They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie. And if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll. Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. But I do want to ride a horse sometime, though. But I've never rode one. Worry about the horse. I, yeah, my I sister got to go f for Girl Scouts and go and ride one, but I didn't I get think to you go. You might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. <coughs> I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hand? I remember when she finds out that, that he's married, she like becomes way less interested in him. Like after this and she finds out that he's married. Like she gets she gets like it's really funny. It's like she was interested in him. In here. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? I have to. Oh God, I forgot about this. I have to deliver a horse. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. She's probably seen like she's probably been around like horses while they've been giving birth. Like she's probably she probably like has seen it happen before and probably could do it better than me. What the hell? I forgot about this. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but... My wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Bruh. Good day, Mr. Milton. This, I think you go to sleep once you get back to the house, and then in the middle of the night you wake up and like people are stealing like cattle, and you have to go and hey, kill John. them. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been 
and kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Oh, I think this is the one where you go into town and you end up like having to kill the bounty hunters. I think the the thing you're picking up like it Grab ends up what you being saying? a gift for you, you? like for John and, and it's like his rancher outfit from the Duncan. first game. Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. Oh wait, no, this is where I teach him how to ride. How you doing? That's this isn't the mission. Fine. Where you go into town. Can we go home? No. You're Bro is a nerd. Stay He'd rather home? read. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. Oh, that horse is so horse tiny compared to John. I mean, it's Just not even really a horse, it's a pony. Okay? Uh-huh. Like, I th I think Talk even it. I think the yep. other kid like that used to be is said that it was Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. <laughs> you know? Oh, that house up there. So Remember, sir? in free roam, if you just walk through the front door, a bear is inside of there and it, like, jumps at you. I had to go in there to get, like, uh a collectible for an errand for another gang member and I didn't know that was going to happen so I was very surprised even faster come on faster yep Stop calling me sir. It's so weird. Like who calls their dad sir? Okay. Let's go across to the street. Yes, sir. My dad, who's watching this, don't you dare say in the chat, you better call me sir then. It's like, are. like, why don't you call me sir? We should get back. He's or like, maybe you should start place. calling your father sir. All right. we go back Seems like something you would type and up to the ranch. in the chat. Okay, on my go. Go! <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna let him win. Because that's what I did on PC. Bro, I would be <laughs> such a, like, such a butthole if I would have, like, purposely, like, won the race and gone way faster than him. I might have done that on my first play. Because I think I thought that, that to, that to, um, pass the mission you had to win. But, nah. Bro, this just reminds me when I was like babysitting uh, the neighbor girls, uh, 
they were like driving their power wheels, which was, you know, it's, it's power wheels, it's pretty slow. And they wanted to race while I was like running after them, and I could have easily gotten way ahead of them, but I just like had to basically pretend that I was like running like in exhausted and stuff. Like, you know, like, it just reminds me of that. Like, you just had to pretend, like, that you're, you just had to purposely go slow. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, you're riding gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep Bruh, you said running. it in the chat. You too. You need I told you not to. What the heck is that? Watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy pants get is paying you to be tough. I don't even think you like kill these people. I think you just beat the crap out of them. Because I don't even think John has a gun on him right now. With vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. That's like the only time in the game where it actually lets you have no guns on you. Because normally, like, you cannot take off your gun belt. Like, you always have to have a gun on you. John's even got his little purse. Nah, it's his satchel, but it looks like a... It's actually Arthur's, I think. Because Arthur gave him his satchel in the last... Like, when Arthur died. And he gave him his hat. But also, like, somehow John has all of Arthur's outfits in his wardrobe. Even though he just gave him his hat. Not like his coat. Did John just go back to where their camp was and just steal all his clothes? Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley. Will Jim Smith. Mel. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Gettys we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Am I just gonna... What was I gonna do? Like, yeah, like, just go up and, like, ask them, Please stop. Please don't do this. Like, bruh. Like, just call 911? No. You can't do that. Bruh. Did that... Fence just open by itself. We all get caught eventually, Bruh. John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Yeah, I gotta save my game. God, I hate how like it like you have to wait a few seconds to get your to save your game. It's it gets annoying. Bruh. Like, it's not this bad during, like, the actual story. It's just in the epilogue. Bruh, you can even see this? Yeah, he has his, he has his old hair. Like, this is... They had literally had it. Like, it's probably just in their files. They could easily just add it. So annoying. Thank God there's mods on PC. But, like... It'd be nice if Xbox added some sort of mod support. Like, I know some games have it. Like, I, I mean, Rockstar could easily add it themselves, but Take-Two, like, their attitude towards modders, you know, it's never going to happen. Like, they're always issuing takedown orders and stuff. Like, 
That's the reason. That's the reason why I like Bethesda's view on modding. Like the CEO Todd, um, Todd Howard. Like he even said, like he doesn't know why other developers aren't like embracing mods. Like it's people adding their own stuff to games, like their own creations and stuff. Like Rockstar, like Take Two needs to be grateful. Like these modders have basically kept like their old GTA games alive for all these years. Like no one would really be playing them anymore. Like as much as they do if there weren't if it weren't for mods. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place. We literally got like a warrant to search the home of some guy who was making a like a texture remaster of Red Dead One for the Xbox 360 emulator Xenia on PC. Like, they literally searched his home and took Probably his computer. Like, they sent private detectives. Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> and then they, like, sued him and basically got Had the to judge home. to say that he can, that he's no longer allowed okay, to make mods for any Rockstar sure, games I'm ever again. Tired. And if he's caught, he'll go to jail. I know. And he had to, like, delete all of his files. Well, he had to turn all of them over to Rockstar. Well, take two. But, so annoying. Anybody want some more? Like, it would be so, like, so nice to be able to see no, that. No, I'm thank good. You. Like, if I'm that project would have actually worked. John Marston, you're such a pig! <laughs> 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 Alright, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. It's not even that late at night, it doesn't look like, because the sky isn't, like, completely dark. This looks like it's, like, 9 p.m. How early? Like, it was light out when they went to bed, I think. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stalls. They got caught. It's over. What's this? New hand? Like my pajamas? Where's Getty now? Jim? He ain't getting up. You know what? I'll be up in a moment. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. Me kill. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Okay, if you say so. Could have easily just gotten the police to go. They're like, you literally know where they are. They're just down the street. I should say road. They probably didn't call it streets in the countryside. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Hey! Hey!
headshot. I mean, I, I got a few headshots already in this mission. Headshots are actually really easy to get once you get used to, like, the methods that I use where you just use auto-aim and then drag up. They aren't as hard to get. Oh god, that was one of the cows. I didn't shoot it, I almost did. Bro, it's crazy, like, the physics and stuff in this game. Like, the bullets, like, destroyed some of the fence. Oh, that's one of- that's one of us, okay. Oh my bad. Sorry for what you've done. You're gonna pay, all right. You and your wife. That's the fella who shot my feet up. I got this. Where are you, big fella? Doesn't he jump down? There's so many. There's like so many um times in like the story mode in this where you walk into like a barn and some guy either jumps up behind you or jumps down from the top to surprise you like it's crazy like i think there's at least like there's probably about five times it happens throughout the story mode including this some like i think like one of them is optional like the mission like the one where you help sadie go and kill the guy that killed her husband I'm gonna die. Oh, okay, I almost died. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Bro, this is like the Red Dead One co uh, cover. Like with the double barrel shotgun. Okay. Abigail is not going to be very happy. I think there's one more mission before she leaves. 
the one where you take Jack. I think I could have done that one before this, but I didn't. Because I think on my other playthrough, I did the other one before this. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, I feel like they should have made the other one, like, required first, because this kind of, like, feels like the tipping point. Like, it should have, like, like, it's like the tipping point for her. Like, she leaves. Like, she leaves. Like, I don't know. It just feels like it. Mr. Milton, this man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my no life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be a service, sir. <laughs> Mr. Geddes should probably just hire some, some like, rest. some guards. Thanks, Mr. Geddes. Like, I get that he has ranch hands that'll do it, but he should also just have some guards. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. Bruh, this What's is something that I hate when do? people do this, where they just, like, don't answer, or, like, they're like, I'm fine. But then they won't tell you what's wrong. It's like, just tell me what's wrong so I can fix it. Instead of just acting, like, bruh. Like, I get that you can kind of see what's wrong here, but, like, also, like, she's not answering him. Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I gotta save my game. I think I'm gonna try to 100% this game, like this save game. Like I, for GTA 5, I have a save game where I've almost gotten 100%. But I mean, it'll take a lot to get 100% on here. But I think I can do it. I mean, I have to like study all the, all the animals, but like the ones that are hard to get, like the ones in Gorma, I've already studied all of them. At least I think. Let me look at my progress. Oh, uh, there's no, like, specific one f that says Gwarma, I don't think. Well, I'm pretty sure I have all of the ones from Gwarma. And if I don't, there's, like, a island in the lake, kind of by roads, that is kind of, like, hidden. Like, it, like it's not really known, well known that um, you can still get the animals there. I gotta pause my game. I gotta go take a pee break.
I am back. And no one <laughs> is watching. Uh, it says one viewer because I have my phone up watching it so I can see the chat and stuff and control it from there. Um, yeah. My dad was watching for like 45 minutes, but, uh, he must have, like, turned the stream off, I don't know. Should I milk the cows? Cause I, yeah, I'll do that later. Oh, cause I, I think I milked them, like, five minutes ago. Before I went, not five minutes ago, just a few minutes ago before I went pee. Yeah. How are you getting on? Surviving. Yeah, this is the mission that you take Jack into town. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said... It was pride or something? <coughs> Your Ma... Was wrong about that. Wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, <laughs> it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. <laughs> and then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out.
enough. For now. Back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Very good. I'm sorry, my mom. You can hear my mom talking to the dogs upstairs. All right. She's being pretty loud. I think she got treats you for the right, dogs. Son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, oh, my dog. One of my dogs was here home. when I started streaming. I don't remember him leaving. He must have. Hi. I'm here to name. My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. He didn't eat, he barely looked. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. What? No, I'm streaming. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh... I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. There okay, isn't boy. a saloon in Strawberry, but I don't know. I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Hi -ya! Give him a switch. I'm just gonna make him go super fast. Let's speed this up. Pick up the pace a bit. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. Is he a no, on the map? Yeah. Here. It's the same as any other road. 
Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. Just keep driving. Like, how do they know? Like, they don't have radios. Like, they're just having, like, that so raven vision. Like, that's how it is in this game. Like, there's, okay. they just what? know. What's wrong? And they're, like, far away. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There, there. We're okay. Hey, uh, you know, your mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peter's Home. That's right. Peter's Home. Over by Blackwater. You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher's boy. Like Duncan Geddes, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Why you drive like this? Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Yeah, it was. Go say hi to your mother. How was the? Bro, that was rude. What happened? I get that, like, he had a bad yeah. time, but you don't have to shove it's... her. I mean, it is kind no. of her fault, but... For putting it in we her actual name. Shot she would have just what put happened? it under Jim Milton, none well, of that would have got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! What did you want him to do? Just let... Let them shoot him and... Him and Jack? It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you.
Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. Catch him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. I think this is a telegram from Sadie, but like, how would she track John Marston down all the way here? Like, that's Excuse weird. me, Mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a Maybe she there. heard about the bounty yes. hunters yes. seeing Sign him there. or something. I don't know, cause she's a bounty hunter. But they don't like. Thank but you. They, they're dead. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM, I know. Stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll like, be damned. John never really even like talked to Sadie or really like didn't like was with her in any like very many missions. I feel like in uh, like in normal story mode. Like she helped break him out of prison, but like. I feel like that's really all, like, in, like, so, like, big to the story. Oh, this is the one where he puts on his old Help outfit from Red Dead 1. Bruh, he's gotta shave his beard. Darling John. A kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I've begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I she took change, she took the boy to her sisters. But you, <laughs> Sounds like like a, what a wife would threaten to she like if you don't stop I'm going to take I'm going to take the kids me and the kids are going to go live with my no sister. More. Abigail. That's like a thing from SNL. But like it sound like it's just true. Taking the kids, and we're going to my sister's. <laughs> oh, that's his rancher outfit from the first game. That he wears at, like, the end when he's ranching. <clears throat> Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. Well, keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Some cool feature about, like, once you get Beecher's Hope is that, like, you, once you, like, do a lot of, like, collect, like, uh, stuff, like milk and eggs, like, you can actually, like, go and sell it and make money. Like, it's actually kind of cool. Like, you can actually, have, like, run the ranch as a ranch. Like, I don't think a lot of people realize the whole selling part. I think they just, like, some people know about, like, the chores around the house and stuff you can do. Where 
Where am I? Oh, fence. Oh, so I'm not gonna have to like walk over to the other things on the mini map. Like you, you just do all of them, no matter which one you go to. This is the mission I was thinking of, like the fence one where you just build like the entire fence. It's like a montage over a few months. That's what I was talking about. The one that goes over, yeah. That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. No, I'll just get him. Pow! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. He has my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Yeah! Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Wow, this is so sick, like this cutscene. Yeah, I gotta save my game.
Oh, I might not be- I can't save it yet, because the little mission completed thing is- it takes so long. Cruel, cruel oh, Cruel World. world. It's Willie Nelson. Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I forgot that this plays in this mission. Because I thought it played when you were Arthur. Because I remember I was replaying the epilogue on PC and I was so confused when this started playing after this. I thought it was a glitch. This big old world Oh, I hope this music doesn't get copyrighted on the stream. I heard a voice that said just settle down. It probably won't, but and with the moonlight as my guide. Cause I'd assume Rockstar is gonna clear to do streaming. Inside. With being as big as they are, like the game being as big as it is. Bound. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. Bro, this is actually a good song. I have it on my Spotify. Yeah, I know that- I heard that, like, Willie Nelson, like, they almost didn't get him to record this, because, um, I think it was the wildfires in California. Like, he almost couldn't get in the studio to record it. And so they have- they had another guy record it, too. But then Willie Nelson was able to, so they have two different versions, and I think they both play in the game at some point. I like this version. Bro, you could just buy this. It's a nice house. It's like new. Reminds me of the house outside of Valentine. I did like, that's kind of like a hidden thing. Like I helped build it. I got like logs for them and stuff. I'm gonna wait for the song to finish so I can go inside. Because I don't want to interrupt the song. Because I'm worried if I get off my horse, it'll stop playing. It's a cool view. Bro, this would be amazing to just live in. Because, like, look at the view. You can see, like, the mountains. And you can see super far. Like, bruh. I think uh, I have a mod where you can have like multiple like homes and stuff, and I think this is one of them you can live in. Like I have it on PC. Can you go inside this house? Oh yeah. I'm gonna set it on my map, like as like a point, like a marker. Nope, not there. There we go. This is just a cool house. It's weird that they just left the doors unlocked. The whoever's selling it. See, like this house is finished. You could easily move in here. Like this is like a good size. Like I know what he wants to ranch, but like this is, it's a like, good size. I mean, it's probably too close to strawberry for them, because. They probably don't want to live super close to there after the whole incident, but... I mean, it's a nice house. It probably costs, like, a lot less than Beecher's... Well, Beecher's Hope is just land. But, like, the total cost that Beecher's Hope is gonna be. Okay, I gotta save my game. Because I did two missions in a row without saving. Yeah, you can even see his old hair in that picture. Like, bruh. Piss me off. Oh, my dog's down here. Hi, Rocky. Okay, I think I'm gonna fast travel to Blackwater. So I'm gonna do the mission for Beecher's Hope first, before the Sadie one. It's weird that he's not wanted in Blackwater anymore. Like, 
when just like eight years ago he like literally took part in a massacre. Like, you think that they would, because like they still like are looking for like the cases. I think the Zodiac Killer State case is still open and like, and like, <laughs> but like, bruh. Like, again, that's been, like, f over 50 years. So, it's really weird that they would just give up in Blackwater. Like, he's he's a pretty recognizable guy. Like, he has the scar. I mean, he didn't have the scar when he robbed it, but people have seen him since. And his scar is very noticeable. Like, he his clothing is, like, very, like, is, like, very, uh, similar to what he... Or like back in 1899, just like the style of it. Oh yeah, they're like building like the FBI headquarters right there, and then the bank from the first game. I really don't understand why Blackwater doesn't have a train station in this. Like, it's really weird. Like, they had one in the first game. And, uh, tall, me, like, sir. Manzanita yeah, Post and Tall Trees. Hello there. Yeah. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of I Mr. think you Dave can Dave rob banks and free ranch. roam in this, which is cool. Oh. <laughs> I've never done yeah, it. Yeah, Mr. But. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. I don't know why he told me, why the, the Mr. Geddes told me to ask for a certain guy. Like, he, this is the, like, the only help? office, like, little office there. So. Like, it seems like it's just the only guy there. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much. He hasn't even gone to see it yet. I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan, Mister Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes, I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments and given a lack. Well, he of like ends. He's like his sentence is like uh, like how he like ends but the words sometimes. Bank sounds bank sounds like uh be okay with the bank. like really? there. Like Absolutely. it sounds like um Daryl Hammond's Bill now, Clinton impression. Of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank. Like right there. No how much you paid. No matter I how understand. much you pay. Like, that just sounds like it's Bill Clinton in well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I know Fred Armisen is in this game. He plays like the, there. We've been having so many the stage show guy in San Denis. On. Sure. Well, come back Although that's, done, like, we'll really recognizable. The there is some other famous people that, like, voice minor characters in this, but you can't really tell. Uh, There's some voice actors from Bully All in this, right, too. Girl. Like, the guy that you, um... Get your house that like you buy the house from it, like the lumber yard. I think. He was either voiced, he's either voiced by the uh, guy who voiced like one of the teachers or who voiced Jimmy's dad. I mean, his stepdad, his new stepdad in Lily. I don't remember. Him much. But, it, but the, and I think there's another fully voice actor. I gotta save that because I think that was a mission. Yeah. Find charity. Maybe charity will find you. There's dead people Help in there. A blind man. Oh, I think this guy he gives a fortune like predicts John's death. 
Oh, those were the Skinner brothers that did that. Yeah. They're in tall trees. You remember the past at the expense of the future. Well, okay then. I think that was like s saying that like that John like he has to go back and deal with his past at the expense of his future like he's gonna die afterwards like how Edgar Ross made him do it and then because of that like he killed him like doing that costed him not cost it cost cost it is I'm not even gonna tr like when I in my first playthrough I like beat these guys up. I'm just gonna pay them money because I don't want to hurt them. I mean they're they're cool dudes. They're just squatters. They don't really have anywhere else to go. Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, Mister. This is a free country. <laughs> Now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Look. Take some money. Give him like Go half of my money. Else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> Ten dollars, but that was probably worth like a hundred back then. I think I even did a calculation. you the man with two names and no past come on in i cannot unhear the bill well, clinton just say there are no more the daryl hammond bill clinton okay well when i got your when I hear this guy. ready now you sure about buying this place it's really run down and the price buying isn't too great place. i think it would mean a lot for my wife at least mean i was listening to her okay well sign here and here Mm -hmm. Well, John's gonna get a haircut after this. I'm gonna use hair tonic to make his hair grow out. Cause I, I want him to look like how he did in the first game. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking, they own me, they just own your property. Now you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. So did the bank own the property or something? Because he just kind of goes here and gets a loan, and then he owns the land. Or does, like, the bank handle that for him with the money? Well, it is you. Well, I never... I, I thought you was dead, boy. Uncle. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> How's the oh, lumbago? The bank, Is it getting better looks or worse? You ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, 
I'm trying. All these years. You ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little Uncle's bit. Uncle's like... I guess that he's trying to be funny, but he can be like a jerk in the way that he's well, funny sometimes. I and I think he starts to realize that he's being a jerk too. after no, a little bit. Oh, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a slow and oh, painful death. Oh, I'm so sorry, death, brother. Evidently, well, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> I'm ready, Marston. Come on. Follow me. Where are we headed? West. West. Oh, God, ain't you a man of few words? I can see. I think Uncle has a different west. voice actor in the you epilogue. Know, I think he has two different voice actors in this, because, and then also another scary. one in. The first game, because the one that played him in the first game died before this was made. And then they got a new one for this, but then he died, like, well, before the game was finished, and so they had to get a different guy. This guy, the guy that's voicing him now, might have also voiced his uncle in, like, some of the later missions. But also, like, I don't know if they actually yeah, you can run from a recorded all the lines you in, like, order of bank. when the missions happen. Or if it's like no, how movies are, where uh, they, um, record them in just, like, an order that's more convenient for them. Set up before like, maybe me if they wrote, like, like <laughs> for all I know, this could have been, like, one of the first missions oh, that was written. I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think, maybe I was wrong. I feel like they would have written a script before starting like They would have finished the script. You're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. Exactly. Did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so... You think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. And he's just gonna rest his back. You know, lumbago. should have done to get to move Arthur's money over to John is I should have done the thing at the Aberdeen pig farm where you like right before Arthur dies you go there and then have your money stashed behind the painting and then go back as John and get the money because when you go there like they knock you out and take your money and put it behind like a painting and you can go back and get it back but I already did that because now I only have nine dollars to my name Oh, I think I have, like, 500 now because of the loan. Oh, I gotta save my game. I can't yet. Okay. That's annoying. Okay, I only have $9. Oh, yeah, Mary's ring. Uh, from Arthur. There's all of Arthur's stuff in his satchel uh, carried over. Yeah, the lion's paw.
I'm gonna save my game. Hopefully it'll let me save. Okay, yeah. I gotta make another save since this is a different like camp. Cause I wanna have it like when you act when you have when they haven't built Features Hope yet, but they're still on like the land. I'm gonna go to Blackwater and, and like shave and stuff. Cause the beard is really long. I don't know if I'm gonna go get the White Arabian. Cause I kind of like this horse. Cause this is like John's horse. I think this is the horse. Wait, no, cause I it it just looks like the. Well, I guess if you have the War Horse, like, DLC, with Red Dead 1, um, then, then it looks just like this one. So then you could say that then that is the same one. Is there a fence in Thieves Landing, or is that just in, like, online? I can't even see, but I don't think there is. I think that's just in online. I don't really like going through Thieves Landing and the epilogue. Because then you get killed by, like, the gang that's there. Hello. I forgot their Looking name, for but... Before I get my hair, like, the right part, and I'm just gonna get this cut. I think, um, for the mustache, I think it was, like, the pencil mustache, but, like, super short that I had. The right part, it looks more like his old hair. I can't afford, like, hair pomade, so... Not pomade, um... Tonic. To make it grow faster, so I'm just gonna have to deal. I cut his beard a little too short. I meant to make it, like, um... I, I'd, like, made the... Made it too short. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Fast travel to Valt. Oh, not my horse! That's not my horse! Well, now I've seen everything. God damn it. I did not mean to do that. I gotta get out of here. I didn't. That was an accident. Did not mean to steal that horse. Gotta get out of here. Bruh, I'm a friggin' idiot. It was an accident, too. Like, I, I meant to go on my horse. I thought it was mine. Like, I didn't, like, it wasn't really looking. Okay. 
I think I can set up my fast travel camper in here. Well, hopefully I'll have enough money after my, um, the mission with Sadie that I'll be able to pay off my bounty. But I, I feel like she probably, I think, I feel like I remember she just sends it to the bank to help pay off your loan. Oh, bro, I don't have his cowboy outfit on. I'm gonna have to do that when I'm at the general store in Valentine, because I think they have a wardrobe there. I don't need- I don't know why it needs to show me, like, all the stuff, like, on the way there. Like, I don't need to see that. Just fast travel me there. I get that it's supposed to be kind of like showing that like he rode his horse there, but I just don't like it. Cause like it doesn't do that. I don't think it does that when you're when you go on like the stagecoach or the train. Come on in. I have an assortment of hunting bait and tools. If you haven't noticed, worms and crickets by the front door, and don't miss the scent blocker by the back window. I just gotta go through here and get all... I don't like having, like, the stars for the new stuff showing up. I think it just gets annoying. So that now I'll know, like, I'll be able to tell if I actually got something new. So in the future, when I go through here, if I see a star, then I'll know. Good. Hey, I'm gonna go do the Sadie mission. little girl thinks she telling anything to uh, enjoy your drink in peace <laughs> i ain't got no business with you right now what that mean for the last time leave me alone or what bubba His name's bubba she not get kicked out of there get the hell out of here before she kills us all you you get out of here I don't even know if that could be considered self-defense, I don't think. Because I don't think they were trying to hurt her. They might have been. I wasn't really paying attention. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. We didn't hear nothing about you. You you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She She's fine. She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Features Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> oh, maybe they intended for you to do this mission you know before the other one, because he said he's looking to buy some property, but I already bought it. Some other stuff, good and bad. 
Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh. oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Thank you. No problem at all. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing well, down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounding like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd oh, there must have been some stuff like after you Arthur died that you don't see. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting a scout by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Well, the butcher. <laughs> what can I do for you? Yeah, he's in the hotel. He's upstairs in the hotel. He like jumps off the balcony, I think. You uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York, bald guy. Yeah, a few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk, but he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's uh up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Oh, a cigarette card. I think I already have that one. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? Stop! Well, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Just jump down. Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, oh. jump on! Yeah, I can see him on the mini-map. Well, I guess you can play this with the mini-map off, so that's probably there for those players. And, like, M NPCs will give you directions on where to go if you have the mini-map off. Pretty cool. I mean, but I don't think I could do that. Bro, I remember when this was, like, filled with trees and I came here as Arthur. Like, I did the missions for them, like, that are, like, kind of hidden. That not many people know about. Because they're not, like, required or anything. Kind of, like, just, like, random encounter missions. 
How did he not die from that? Shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad. But you so said you're usually at the saloon in Valentine. Did I get any actual, like, pocket money from- nope. <laughs> no, I did not. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna save my game. I think I'm gonna fast travel back to Beecher's Hope. I think this is the mission where you go down and... Yeah, you go to San Denis to find, uh, Charles. Okay, gotta go do the uncle mission. It's almost been two hours since I started the stream. It's almost as long as my stream last night was. It doesn't feel like the stream has been that long. Working hard? <coughs> it's the Lombago. I am. I overdo it. I, I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I, I, I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town and... Oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. So, like, where did they go to get on a train if, like... I think the closest tr train station was like a little bit away. It's like if there's no train station in Blackwater, like that's that's the dumb thing about them not about them remo they they've removed so much from the original map. It's like it, there's no way that all that stuff got built in the span of four years, like from 1907 to 19. Like all of Thieves Landing, like tumbleweed going to ruins. That's more believable. But like. McFarland's Ranch it's Barn. Like, she literally sense. says in the first game, in the sure. first mission, well, yeah, the first mission, because it just automatically goes to that and you get saved, but that she, um, that her dad built it when she was a little girl, but four years earlier, it's not there. Like, it's so dumb. And I am so mad about Mexico not being in the game. Like, I loved that area in the first game. Like, it was... Like, I'm pissed. Something that I wish that they had in the first game, and there, there, there might be mods for Xenia for this, um, is that, that, like, they have in this is, uh, that animals that are, like, trying to kill you show up on the, in, on the mini-map as enemies. Like, that I wish they had. 
I don't know if enemies that are like shooting at you and stuff actually are on the mini map in the first game. I don't remember. They might not be. But they also might. Like, I know the animals don't. you today sir listen you seen a big indian fella huh indian yeah a boxer no nope. sorry mister no nope. actually yes he i think he's fighting i believe fighting out behind saint saturnin thank you thanks a lot no problem i would have bought something from him like, as a thank you for helping me, but I have no Without. money. Oh, hello. Is there something else? Whoa, look out. Oh, nice. Let's he went go, poop. Girl. Someone's gonna step on that. Wow. <laughs> Why the hell is there just a pig running around? Bruh. You so long. Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. <laughs> Not one of life's great mysteries. Folks, turns they love out. a surprise. <laughs> but they hate a massacre. And you are a killer. We both know what you gotta do. I'm leaving now. He don't know the half of it. John? You're... You're... I'm alive. <laughs> so are you. <sighs> So's he. That's Uncle? What are you doing? I don't know. I'm alive. Uncle thought maybe he was in some sort of trouble. Uh, kind of. Just... I don't know. I... I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So... So... Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man, I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. How much? All of this. Okay. Funny thing, I pegged you for the favorite, but the odds just got real good. What about you, sir? A uh, little wager on the wolf here? Real redskin brave. Okay, that's offensive. Ladies sure, I'm a fan of the wolf. Give me a bet on him. Have I got a treat for you? I, I only have like two dollars. Between the descendant of ancient warriors and a not so noble savage. On my left. A ferocious battler from the valleys, Simon of Wales! And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf! You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. How does Charles know about Micah? Killing Arthur because he had left the gang by then. Oh, 
<laughs> Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf. Whoa. How? Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. <laughs> so it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed. I said we. So you keen on staying around here, or heading off with me and Uncle? But John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I. I'm a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. Bruh, so when we rode the trainer, did Uncle pay for my ticket? Because I sure as hell didn't, because I had the same amount of money before we left and when we got here. You mean back then? Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. We're got to oh, okay. I'm back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have I gotta go to all the gang members' graves. And I think that goes side. towards 100% completion. He gave me a satchel with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Rattle him or... Give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch. Who knows? I wonder why he left dead. the Lapiti people. Because he I'm was helping sure. them, and I know that they're still there around. Because you can things, run into Eagle. One uh, thing I know. I know it's Rain's fault. I ain't heard nothing real in yeah, years. Yeah, like at like the station, like well, Annisburg. That time. Nor me. Micah. I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or since before I got off Sisica. They picked up Strauss. The agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Everything that happened, all those deaths, Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem, if it wasn't for... We were on a very bad path. And Micah Bell dragged us into the abyss. Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey! Uh, Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three! <laughs> You couldn't have thrown that fight! It's never just one fight. Evidently! What are those guns they have? Here it is! Let's go. There's a wagon up there. I'll get my bag. Okay. I forgot about this. I like like I I I thought that this mission was like the whole thing, you just, you literally just walked with him back like, to the boat. I forgot about this. Okay. Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. Hold on. You see any law? I'm kind of, I think right I'm here. kind of thinking of, Keep your eye out. like, Sending this isn't like the, police. I'm thinking of the one where you sneak under the warma. Only too well. Like, 
when I was saying that I didn't remember what this was. Now I kind of do. Because I didn't really like how you were just like, you're sneaking on the boat to warm my ears. We can't get caught around. Has the chief it it took a while. They take us in. Why are we wanted dead or alive? Normally, when you kill people, in this, you aren't want immediately wanted dead to or alive. Anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? The police just gave up. We were literally wanted dead or alive. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple, John Charles. <laughs> you boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, it weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> So I guess he just wasted his money on that boat that he, like, booked. I think I'm actually gonna save over, over the one that I have for this camp with this, because now Charles is here, and it's more of like a camp now. like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Bro, the horses are really working. Trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house, right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? There's a fellow by the train store. 
Cakes, hardwood, and timber. Okay. Train store. Yeah, there's no train. Maybe they originally planned on putting one there, and they just recorded the lines. From your incessant yapping, Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. First, I think. I don't even need to set a waypoint, I just know where that is. Oh, I could probably pay off my bounty when I'm not there, too. Or else Sadie's gonna hold a gun to my head and, like, take me in. She's gonna turn me into the cops, that'd be... She'd be a traitor. What did I ever do to them? Like, I could see why some gangs would try to kill you, cause, like, if you've done something to them. But I've never done anything to them. Oh, uh, there's something with the hotel building up here that doesn't make much sense, because on the side of it in the first game, it, like, was all brick, and it was painted saying, like, hotel, like, on this side, but in this, it has windows. It doesn't say that. So, like, did they just remove the windows and then just paint, like, just paint ho the word hotel on it? That's what it sure seems like. Jeez. I never did anything wrong, of course. So long. Oh, it's twenty-five dollars down the drain. Hello, mister. Hello. Sadie? Oh, John! Why is she there Let's in the middle stand. of the night? Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But... Same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. 
James Langton. I think when oh, this mission when this mission's over, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Much like him, I'll get back on stream in a bit me. and finish the epilogue. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now come on, mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Oh yeah, this is like really the only mission in the entire game where you go down like in like the desert part of the original oh, map. Like really the only missions in the original part of the map. Like the original map are uh, like near Blackwater. Me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Like, you never go down to, like, buy armadillo and stuff other than this mission. That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. A ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but... That's it for the most part. I was literally That's shot good. by like five people Maybe on the way these here. I heard about and stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You er want to talk about it well maybe but charles smith we found charles smith charles he's alive yeah he's doing okay i mean i don't know why he wouldn't be alive like he seemed to be fine like he was going to help the wapiti people and he wasn't like he was like against them fighting but i think life on the plains is gonna be good for him i always like charles you send in my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. And the offer's there. Whatever you want. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No, you'd think he's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out. For who? I like how the game is intentionally making us not go through Thieves Landing to get there. For a reason. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But. Not now. Come on. Where are we? Oh, we're just like near McFarland's ranch. Right. I realized that since like there's no police in Armadillo in this, you can just go and like do whatever you want. You won't get wanted. It's crazy. Got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house. 
Shane Finley. Bro, I hate what they did to Armadillo on this, where they like made it such a terrible place. Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Oh, that's it's Armadillo. You, right. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. I ain't sharing mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's Where? Here? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on, let's go follow them. It's weird because John says that he's never. Um, in the first game he says he's never been down here, but on, he man. literally goes down here with Sadie in this. Let's go. They'll be coming through here. chance yeah they're stopping and that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse what are they waiting for uh, the rest of Langton's men I think <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself how come he's got all them men and you work alone <laughs> I got you you're worth ten of them <sighs> great all right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. Let's shoot them. Let's just start shooting. Maybe they'll all run off. Yeah, they'll s get her right away. I'm going over here. Okay. <laughs> Look to the 
It's like, how does he have so many guys? Like, this is more than ten. Like, like the game said. Like, if they have people up here, and able to get- like, it's not like they can get up there that fast. Oh my god! Jeez, how many guys are there? This is like a whole, like... This, this is like a... Family reunion, like, size. Like, a big family reunion. So that Maybe that's what they were doing. Is that James Langton? Oh, and just wait, just watch. Some guys are gonna start chasing us. It's like, like once we're a, a good away from, like a good ways away from here. Like, how do they even know what happened?
I need to relieve myself. There'll be a book in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I, I think that's a violation of his enemy. civil uh, rights. Bed, okay. Me, like just hitting him. Me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. I don't think he's been on trial and proven guilty. It doesn't sound like he escaped from prison. Don't listen to her. He's just been charged. Speak my piece. And no still, even if me, even if they've been found guilty, it's not you still shouldn't treat them by like hitting them. It's like fair and uh, unfair and unusual punishment. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine, and with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, <laughs> what were you then? Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's, uh... Put him in the cell. <sighs> Bastard! Just put him on the bed. <sighs> We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> you want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Okay, I'm just gonna save my game. I can't yet. Oh my god. Okay, now can I? Okay, I think I'm going to end the stream there. I'll get back on and finish the, um, I'll finish the, the epilogue in a little bit on stream.